Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Longevity John here. I'm your host today for another live stream concert from the Duncan Showroom. Dr. Ted Cadillac's going to be on the lights and on the sound and on the cameras. Yes, we have four cameras, and we don't tell the person playing where they actually are. <laughs> it works better that way. They don't play to the camera. They end up just playing. But the room is designed to go beyond that anyway because it's, it's a listening venue. It's been open over 19 years now, coming up 20 years. And I heard, I just remembered the other day that Stephen Fearing said that he would come and play on the 20th anniversary. <laughs> but it happens to be a Tuesday, which is open mic. And I don't know if the open mic people want to give it up. <laughs> now, when I say open mic, the, kind of the dress rehearsal Tuesday, the interesting thing about that is that um, the, the other day, did you see that, Tim? 181 views. You know, like in two days, three days, like people all tune into that. And the other ones, not nearly as much. So, you know, I don't know what it is. Maybe we're, we got ourselves a new hit show there or something. I don't know. It's kind of fun. Dress rehearsal Tuesday, drop in sometime. Try and be, if not a, a, a person on stage, at least be part of the audience and encourage people. Today, this afternoon, Jenny Allen's all the way in from Calgary. And we go back, we go back, well, the Islands Folk Festival, as I said in, the, in my brochure. The queen of the Islands Folk Festival. She was there for so many years. Off and on, her and Dev, she came out and would always make sure she'd be here. And she's always made a sojourn out to the West Coast on, like, in the middle of the summer or early spring. And she, um, a couple of times at the 39 days of July, she joined up with a couple of ladies and called their band the Fates. And they had quite a bit of success while they were doing that. But now it's back to solo careers, life's going on, pandemic's over. And Jenny Allen's still performing, still doing some wonderful stuff. She's going to be down in Victoria. It's still, does she got another show in Victoria? Yep, and a whole bunch of places like that. So she'll let you know where they are for those that are tuning in. Try and catch her live beyond just watching it on the live stream. Because being in the room with Jenny is just sort of warm and special. Give it up for her, please. Jenny Allen. Ta-da. <laughs> Thank you, John. Yes, we go way back. I met John years ago at the very first Islands Folk Festival when I was the headliner with Scott Parsons, like when it was in the uh, driveway. <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, it was in the driveway at the... <laughs> That's so funny. And, and I remember the green onion cakes. Right? You guys remember the green onion cakes? I remember the green onion cakes. They were amazing. Changed my life. <laughs> so yes, I'm uh, really always happy to be here at the Duncan Showroom. And uh, for those of you that are viewing from the beyond, um, hi. <laughs> I drove out from Calgary last week and uh, you know, it's what we love to call in the business a tourcation. Right? I can't just go on vacation. I have to book a show. <laughs> it's just the way it goes. <clears throat> can I don't care 
Thank you very much. I'm just wondering if it's possible to get like some water up here. <clears throat> I would love some water. I could just go outside and do this. <laughs> Although it's not raining now. Not at the moment, but it will. Why, thank you, young man. The service here is excellent. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to buy the t-shirt and I'm going to wear it everywhere. <laughs> so, um, yes, Duncan has always been kind of a second home for me. And uh, you know, I always ask myself every time I cross those mountains, why do I live in Alberta? But, you know, I have my reasons. And I do love it. And I, I love my hometown. I love my new house. Right? It's a great house. There's no, like, you know, springboard in the middle of the living room floor. It was, it was really fun. You know, like, you could, like, launch yourself off down the, into the, to the couch. And, but, yeah, it was a little, <laughs> you know. No, I love my new house. Um, a while back, uh, some good friends of mine who actually live here now, they live in Cobble Hill, um, um, Mel, S Mel and Marty Smith, dared me to write a song that had no minor chords and wasn't about having my heart broken. <laughs> so I wrote a song about missing home. <laughs> it was the best I can do, but there's not a minor chord in sight, so. Oh, mm -hmm. 
song without any minor chords as you will notice from the next two <laughs> so it's so interesting coming out as a touring musician at the other end of COVID because you know the the face of things have, has changed and there's a you know I, on the one hand people are so excited to have live music again, because they took it for granted before, really. And, um, you know, it was always there. So all of a sudden, it was gone. And now it's been back for a couple of years, really. I mean, since last year, last summer. And I, I think people are just, just have more respect for it now, and more, you know, like they crave it. <laughs> because it could just go away like that again so fast. It happens so quickly. <clears throat> anyway, I digress. I'm going to play you a couple of new songs. Um, the first song is uh, How I Picture Love Could Be. And uh, the next song is about, well, it's about an old boyfriend. Um, <clears throat> so it's sort of like before, after, before. <laughs> After, or after, before. <laughs>
We walked for hours in an early April rain and talked in circles down an empty market lane. Floor was a circus, card wheels in the air, and we joked about Vegas. CDs left. I'm completely out of CDs, but you can find me on CD Baby. I am at CD Baby. And of course, Spotify. <laughs> I'll make like, in 40 years, I'll make about 30 cents. So by all means, go there. And um, <laughs> just kidding, Spotify. <laughs> because they're watching. No, it's, I mean, it is great. I, I find it as a useful tool for learning songs. <laughs> it's a very good tool that way. Um, and also you can go to my website, jennyallen.ca. I am going into the studio and I am recording a new record. I know I've been saying that a lot lately, but this time it's really true. <laughs> and, but you can take a piece of me home because I make keychains and magnets out of found objects. And I have a little stash over here on the table. And, um, you know, I sell the keychains for five bucks each, the magnets, just throw some money on the table. I'm happy. <laughs> it was a COVID project. And it kept me really busy, actually. It's like, well, you got to do something. Girls got to have a hobby. I don't want my eyes to haunt you and 
wanna be a ghost Left my mark upon you, baby But I don't wanna boast You said you love no other Well, you know that's pretty rich You truly love your mother You're a son of a bitch Well, now no more lies Just sweet soft sugar-coated no deception in my cup no twist when i'm on the rocks i want my truth straight up and chivalry is sleeping on the basement floor as soon as he wakes up i'm gonna show him to the door well, now no more lies just sweet soft goodbyes no 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 Well, five years of rainy weather line up on your face But when I think about you from this better place I'm walking with my head up, I'm no damsel in distress I may be broken heart, but I'm a beautiful mess Well, now no more lies, just so we saw Thank you very much. <laughs> so like a good musician, I didn't write a set list. <laughs> so uh, I grew up in Calgary. And uh, it's funny, you know, you're driving around places you've used to live, like I used to live here, and driving around. I mean, things have changed so much. But there's some things that are still the same. Like the Good Neighbors Thrift Store it hasn't really changed much. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> there's just more stuff. And some of the old stuff is, so you gotta dig to get to it, but yeah. <laughs> that is kind of how I, I navigate my way around a new town. It's like I find out where the thrift stores are, <clears throat> and I GPS my way there, and then I turn it off so that I have to find my way back. I get lost sometimes, <laughs> but it works. In the long run, it's actually a good technique. Um, so this song has absolutely nothing to do with that. <laughs> but I, I, um, I lived in a part of Calgary called Rams Ramsey for like 25 years. And a great neighborhood, and not too far away from where I lived was this lovely establishment called the Shamrock Hotel. <laughs> oh, you know it. <laughs> it was Calgary's premier blues venue for a long time. It's now a parking lot. Yeah, it happens. It's making way for progress. Um, it did try and burn itself down once. It did, really. But it rose from the ashes. Um, and this is a, a song that I wrote uh, inspired by some of the savory characters, you know, and also by my own graceful aging process. So, <laughs> it's called No Turning Back.
Okay, I'll play something happy now. <laughs> it's like, oh God. <laughs> there is. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, let me think if I can tell you a happy joke. I don't know any. Sure. Every time I come back here, there's something new to look at. Oh, yeah. Right? Like, I like Happy Santa. I really like the cow jumping over the moon at the very back. I wonder how many people have commented on that. Like, I mean, <laughs> I must not be the only one that's seen that. And um, the uh, row of ducks keeps getting bigger. And let me think, what else? <laughs> yep, there's more ducks where that came from, too, I'm sure. Yeah. Careful what you wish for. <laughs> right. <clears throat> 
Thank you. <laughs> okay, back to the uh, sad stuff. <laughs> I have a lot of sad songs, you know, but it's where I get my best material. Right? It's like nothing like a little heartbreak to turn out a couple, half a dozen, two albums worth of material. <clears throat> Right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, kind of the way it goes.
makes every thing I am and everything I would be. I will try to understand. to myself Would you be the one that told me If I got down on myself Would you be the one to hold me No, I'm not gonna <clears throat> Speaking of Mexico, <laughs> as we were before the show, keys in the ocean, <laughs> keys in the ocean, it's like goodbye, goodbye keys, <laughs> well I guess we're taking a taxi, <laughs> it's kind of, I do remember that's sort of how it panned out actually, right, yeah. But I was doing musical theater in Mexico for four years, and um, it was a great learning experience. I learned how to take direction, which was really hard work. <laughs> so, and, uh, being a strong, independent woman that I am, taking direction is not my forte. Um, but I did learn so much about music and, uh, you know, and being immersed in another culture, even though all the people I was with were all from Canada and the United States, I didn't really learn how to speak a lot of Spanish. I did learn no entiendo nada, which means I don't understand anything. <laughs> I got a lot of mileage out of that. And um, 
you know, and various other uh, things. <laughs> I don't know how to say some stuff, yeah. But um, I stayed in a beautiful little town south of Puerto Vallarta called Nogalito, and uh, where the dogs far outnumber the people. Two to one, easily. And we're up before the, the you know, the... <laughs> The roosters. They were up before the roosters. You know, somebody walked down the street and they'd be barking. They'd wake up the roosters. So, but it was a really lovely town and I have some very wonderful memories of Mexico. Thank you so much. I want to thank you for coming out. I know a Sunday afternoon, especially on a gorgeous day like this, is it's hard to do. And uh, well, we did you scrabble first? Yeah. We kings cribbed it first. <laughs> we did first thing this morning with coffee. It's great. Carla has been gracious enough. My dear friend Carla Olive, who talented artist in her own right, um, and. Uh, 
um, she's gracious enough to host me. I'm a pretty easy guest, though, really. That came out wrong. That, came <laughs> that is not what I meant. <laughs> Good to know. Well, I'm coming to see you guys next. <laughs> I did. That's right. Oh, I remember that. Oh, yeah. Yes. I found many good things at the yard sales in this part of the world. It's like, we, it's like Carla's like, no, we're not stopping at a garage sale. <laughs> we did go to a thrift store, though. I thought the market was today. I'm like, let's go early and we'll go to the market. But that would, we would have been here really early because it was yesterday. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, next time. Well, I'm planning on coming back out again in the summer. So, um, you know, I'm really hoping I can make that happen. You know, it's funny, I'm supposed to play in Nelson next weekend, but there's like flooding all through the interior of BC. I'm kind of like, mm, I might not be playing in Nelson next Sunday. But, and that's Mother's Day for all you mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day early. Thank you. Remember that little muffin? She's 34. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> Close enough. <clears throat> Here, I'm going to start again. I'm going to just leave him there. It's like, it's like, I thought, I thought the drummer wasn't going to come. <laughs> Why am I waiting? Am I waiting for it to begin? Only second guess myself to death before I let you in. Over and lies it out of breath to talk too much again. Cause the words I keep repeating leave my patience wearing. So Father. 
the truth and I will nourish the seed. Oh, no, that it sounds priceless, but it's what I Thanks. I think I have time for a couple more songs, and I really, again, I want to say many, many thanks to the Duncan Showroom and to John and Ted for having me here once again, and to all of you who came this afternoon, give yourselves a big round of applause. Like <laughs> and uh, uh, to all of you out there in the Ethernet, Thank you for watching today, and uh, I can't wait to see and hear this myself. <laughs> so. <clears throat> and again, uh, JennyAllen.ca. Um, I'm playing tonight at the uh, Victoria Folk Club. And then Wednesday, Carla and I are playing at the Monkey Tree Pub in Victoria. So that'll be fun. What time do we start? 7 p.m. 7 p.m. 7 till 10. And then I'm back to Vancouver and then hopefully off to Nelson. So we'll see if that happens. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I was looking at the news today and I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> That's not looking good. And apparently there's big fires in Alberta. Yeah. Not too far from home, actually. Really, Drayton Valley and, um, and Edson. Like, Edson's been evacuated. Which isn't hard to do, it's not a very big town, but you know, I, I mean, well actually I'm saying that, it's, I'm not, don't mean to joke, it's very serious business because, um, you know, it's the way it goes these days. What? Oh, great, well, <laughs> I guess I'd better, I guess I'd better like watch the news. <laughs> Yeah, BC Firewatch and Alberta Firewatch. Yeah, okay. So let that be a lesson to you. Always make sure you have a plan B. <clears throat> All right. A good sad song? Okay, I'll write it. I'll, I'll play. This one is actually, you know, um, Carla and I was mentioned this song on the way up in the car. That's why I think I'll play this one. And this is, this really is about, it was inspired one time, I was staying with friends in Vancouver and um, I was outside, this is back when I was a smoker, sitting outside and looking across the street and this gentleman just really never left his chair in his front window, you know I mean? I wasn't trying to be nosy or anything, voyeuristic, but, but he really, um, he, he didn't, really move around his house much and nobody ever came to visit him and it just seemed like like so lonely that I um I wrote a song about you know thinking about other people's lives and and how you know when when you've been with someone for a lifetime and then they go they're gone it's um it's so this song's called Dear
hasn't kept me down though sometimes at night I hear your voice I still hear your voice was a time when we just begun we were ready when they born now we cross our legs and we stare at anymore but at least we stuck it out yeah. sometimes at night I hear your voice I still hear your voice I still hear your voice I still hear your voice dear Six a.m. another day in the corner. The paint's been peeling. I got nothing to do but lie on my back and stare at the cracks in the ceiling. Oh, simple things that life forgets. All those things you haven't, have not said. And sometimes. Thank you so much. I'm going to leave you with one more song, and thank you again. My name is Jenny Allen. I'm from Calgary, Alberta. I've got weird stuff for sale on a table over there, and um, business cards if you want to pick one up. Call me. Say hi. <clears throat> Random texts in the middle of the night, you know. <laughs> so again, careful what you wish for. Well, this is a... This is a true story about being a woman in the music industry. Save me from the skip. Save me from myself. Save me from tobacco. Most bad for my health. Whoever you are, whoever you may be, keep me from close talkers and bad. And there's a frown on the bar stool. He wants me to agree. He's got his own unique brand of lounge philosophy. Was tired to face the music, the writing on the wall. But you can't believe what's written on it. Bathroom stall, save me from the whiskey, save me from myself, save me from tobacco. Who's bad for my health? Whoever you are, whoever you may be, keep me from close talkers and bad company. There's a Casanova and he's 
talking way too loud. Enjoy the rest of your day and may your days be sunny and bright. Come over to your side 